I'm not even sorry. Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm just me. If you're not new here, are you subscribed? Are you sure? Are you following me? Twitter, Instagram, Patreon. So, today, what I have is a Tokyo treat. Do you see? It's literally overflowing. I guess this brings me to my disclaimers. Not affiliated, not associated, Tokyo Treat doesn't know or care that I exist. They're not paying me. Uh, yeah, I'm just a subscriber, just like you are or would be. So, that out of the way, I'm just gonna get in here. I'm gonna put this here, where you can't see. I'm gonna look over here, where I can't see. And I'm just gonna get in. Right here on top, there is a magazine. This magazine has the theme, the month, and the volume. So it's Summer Matsuri, uh, volume 80. Ooh. And it is July 2022. I care about the volume just because I've been doing this since volume 1. Not the first box, but the first official little magazine thingy. So, I like knowing where I am. 80 is a pretty cool number. I think I'm going to have a party when I get to 100. Maybe. I don't know. So, inside, there are things that fall out at you. Contests that you can enter. There are also cool facts about some stuff that I never read. I have a reading disability, so uh, I don't actually read out a lot of this extra information. They do have little blurbs about all of the snacks. I do my best. I try to pronounce the name, and I try to read the little blurbs, and they've started listing allergens, so I'll always read those. Um, yeah, so all that's left to do is just actually get in here, I guess. Right here on top, Kit Kats. You can tell they're Kit Kats because they're in this cool paper bag. Kit Kat cookies and cream. Uh, summer limited. The a summer limited edition flavor is back. The wafers are covered in white chocolate with cookie chunks. It's such a great way to describe things. Chunks. That's a fun word. Uh, with cookie chunks to give it that extra crunchy texture. On a hot day, put some in the freezer and enjoy them chilled. I've actually done that with other Kit Kats and it's really good. So I'm not going to test that just this minute, but I am going to try these. I'm not even sorry. <laughs> that was absolutely everything that you would expect from a cookies and cream Kit Kat. It had that crunchy wafer, it had that melty chocolate. I liked the cookie chunks. <laughs> it's a fun word, okay? So yeah, I really like those. Again, OU is just ooh, right? Satsuchi? I'm gonna hold this one up. 
Can someone give me that phonetically in the comments, please? Oh, you was just ooh, right? So it's Satuchi? I'm pronouncing that wrong. It sounds wrong. But Satouchi sounds wrong too. Anyway, they're a really tasty kind of lemon. These crackers have a refreshing tartness and aroma of that kind of lemon. Made with summer in mind, they're perfectly light and tasty. Enjoy this limited time senbei and its summery packaging. Common allergens are wheat and soy. May contain traces of eggs, dairy, peanuts, shrimp, and crab. cracker thing. You can taste the salt. You can taste the citrus. It's not sour. It's not unpleasant. It's really nicely balanced with that salt. And I love the crunch. It's a fantastic crunch. It is. It's light and airy and citrusy, but not sour. It's a little heavy on the salt for my personal taste, but I really like it. I'm definitely finishing these. Okay. Okay. So this is a Matsuri surprise snack. Step right up, it's your turn to pull the figurative string of oh San Ombiki. Apparently whatever it is is a classic Matsuri game. And it's a surprise snack. So basically it's a mystery snack. Um there's a QR code here that I could scan and get information. However, I've actually had these before. They came in a Sakurako. So I guess I'm going to put a... Hmm, I don't want to go through and find which one it is, though. So, yeah. Um, I've had these in a Sakurako. I actually still have several of them upstairs. They're not my favorite. Um, they're just little Sakura flavored lifesavers. They're heavy on the cherry and light on the floral. And it's time to introduce the box. In the box go things that I can't eat, won't eat, or have already eaten. So somewhere in the world is me trying this. I don't need to do it again. From the box it goes to friends, family, people who like snacks. Oh, I could have got Sakura marshmallows. Oh man. Anyway. This is an apple pie. I'm just gonna pronounce it ooh. Kubo apple pie. Not quite a Ringo Ame, but we think it makes a great alternative for festival apples. Delicious apple pie made with Nagano apple jam, lightly baked. Common allergens, soy, dairy, eggs, wheat, and apples. How, was this like falling slowly that whole time? It wouldn't surprise me. Um, allergy to apples. No. Absolutely not. I refuse. Yakisoba taro from the popular wait. From the popular taro series comes yakisoba taro. Uh light and flavorful snack, dried snack version, delicious yakisoba. It's okay. Yeah. No. 
common allergens are wheat, dairy, and soy. They're crunchy, uncooked ramen noodles. I don't like them. I do not like them at all. They're, they're really just broken up, crunchy noodles. I'm sorry, I can't. Just can't. Full Moon Pond Salted Crackers. These wheat crackers used natural oils and salts from Okinawa to create a crunchy, salty cracker snack. Uh, it's another snack that kids win at Mitsuri Games. Uh, common allergens are wheat. It's just a round little cracker. One's been broken. They say this one is salt flavored. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. They're super crunchy. They're salty, but it's like a like a different kind of salt, if that makes any sense. Like the difference between sea salt and table salt. It's just, it's just different. Exactly the same, but also different. That was wonderful. I love the crunch. I love the saltiness. Pocky! is Salty Vanilla Pocky. Enjoy a summer limited edition flavor. The sweet and gentle scent of vanilla from Madagascar and white chocolate covered lightly salted whole grain pretzel sticks. Common allergens, dairy, wheat, and soy may contain eggs and peanuts. Two packs. It does have a really nice vanilla scent. Uh, I don't know if the camera's gonna focus, but if it does, then you can see like little bits of salt. I don't know. And don't love, don't hate. So that was good. The vanilla and the salt were perfectly balanced. And other than that, it was a pocky. It was crunchy and melty. Not my favorite, not my least favorite. Honkome rice bar. Snack takes Japanese rice and turns it into puffs, flavored with soy sauce, sugar, sea salt, and sweet potato to create a slightly sweet and spicy treat. Fascinating. Common allergens, wheat and soy, may contain traces of peanut, shrimp, and crab. Soy sauce, sugar, sea salt, and sweet potato. Okay, it smells like egg salad. Yeah, like an egg salad sandwich. That's unnerving. It does not taste like egg salad. It's actually pretty good. It's got a nice crunch. The soy sauce really comes through, 
but it's super sweet with like the sugar and the sweet potato. And yeah, if it doesn't really taste like sweet potato, but if you're trying to taste it, it's there. There's like a like an earthiness way at the back. Hmm. That's really good. I would I would seek that out. That's really good. Who oh, no. knew? Yes. Okay. I have tried these a trillion times, so I'm not going to try this one, but mostly because it flakes everywhere. And since I have tried it a million times, I don't feel bad about this, but it is Yaokin Fugashi. Fugashi is a classic festival favorite, characterized by its light and crispy texture and its and the sweetness of molasses and Okinawan brown sugar. Sorry, Okinawan brown cane sugar. Uh, okay, common allergens are wheat. May contain soy. Here, I'll show you the picture of it. So as you can see, it's brown on the outside and like white on the inside. The inside is just this flaky, fluffy... It's like wheat cotton candy. It just melts away as soon as you touch it. And the outside is like this hard-ish, kind of crunchy, brown sugar shell. It's, it's amazing. But I've tried it before, and I don't want to clean it up. It's not going in the box, though. It's going over here. I tried these before too, sir. Ooh, these ones are different. Well, I mean, they're the same, but they're different. Mini Ramune Candy. This popular candy now comes in a new summer ready Ramune flavor. Yay! Pop them out and taste the nostalgic Ramune flavor, perfect for sharing with your favorite festival buddies. No common allergens, but it may contain traces of dairy and soy. What color should I choose? Uh, I'll do a pink one. Mmm. That's really good. It's... I don't know. It's got a candy shell, and it's like a pressed powder inside, but not exactly. It's kind of like a candy coated rocket. Or. Smarty. That's what it is in the States. It's a rocket everywhere else in the world. I don't know why you guys have to be so different, but we love you anyway. And these are really good. It's super sweet. It does kind of actually tastes like a ramen beverage. Which is cool. So those are good. These are great. Chocoto Soft Marshmallow Candy. For the ice cream loving festival goer, this candy cone has soft serve shaped marshmallow with a yummy ooh, chocolate cream filling. Cute packaging. Uh, common allergens are wheat, dairy, soy, and gelatin. May contain traces of eggs, peanuts, oranges, and sesame. I have had this before, but in strawberry jelly flavored. The inside was like strawberry jam. Oh my god, it smells like chocolate birthday cake. Mm -hmm. It really does smell like chocolate birthday cake. 
love sprinkles. That is extremely unattractive and not particularly appetizing. Mm. It's so good. The sprinkles are super crunchy and the marshmallow is like... It's squishy, but it's not, like, sticky. Mm. What a rip-off! The whole bottom half of it. Hang on. Give me a second. That was both delicious and a total rip-off. <laughs> the marshmallow was stretchy and, like, bouncy. And the chocolate was smooth, and it was like a milk chocolate, but it wasn't overly milky. It was... Japanese chocolate is somewhere in between dark and milk. It's like... If the scale was 10, it would be a 5. <laughs> it's, it's like perfectly in between. So... It's like milk chocolate, but it's darker than our milk chocolate. And it didn't go all the way to the bottom, which is sad. But I love this. I would highly recommend this. Hmm. Oh, two things. Oh, neither of which I can eat. Okay, hang on. So first we've got... Sherbert Hero Cider. More than your standard lollipop, this powdered candy gives a juicy sensation in your mouth, turning it from a lollipop to a juicy candy treat. No common allergens, but it may contain dairy. So, I don't really try stuff like this in these videos anyway, um... But I've also learned over the years that stuff that's like super carbonated, which I, I'm pretty sure this would fizz. I'm pretty sure it fizzes a little bit. But, uh, yeah. I can't really do this kind of carbonation. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got. It's like a dipping candy, like a... But yeah, I don't do candies like this in these videos. It just, it takes too long, so. Next, we've got Bubble Soda Ramane Candy. Feel the bubbles and enjoy the taste like you're drinking ramane. This new and improved candy tastes even better than before. Sweet and sour candy uh, is Matsuri ready. No common allergens, and it doesn't contain anything. I... Okay, so... I've had stuff like this on this channel before. They're little, like, round candies that fizz when you bite them. I have to do a beverages video today and there's a pop in that one and I'm just not going to kill myself uh, for YouTube, I'm sorry. I have a problem with carbonation in general and these just, they kill me. But I'm sure they're tasty. The ones that I've had in the past, which is how I've learned that they kill me, um, yeah, they were tasty. They fizz, but I just, oh. My stomach and I are just not dealing with that today, I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's do this next. Fanta Premium Lemon. Oh cool. There's... can you see? No. Let me get like... There's like pulp in it. Can you see that? Oh, I'm shaking. 
Okay, hang on. Uh, Perfect Refreshment on a Hot Summer's Day. This fourth release from the Fanta Premiere series. This soda has the perfect balance of sweetness, sourness, and bitterness. Common allergens... Uh, sorry, there aren't any common allergens, and it also doesn't contain anything. I... I'm excited for this. I love lemon. I also don't do beverages on this channel. Uh, I open three separate Japanese snack boxes and they all come with a drink, so I save them up and once a month I do a drinks video over on my Patreon. All of those are listed public, so you can go and check them out without actually having to pay me anything. I would like you to pay me, but I understand. Everybody's broke. Not a problem. Well, I mean, it's a serious problem, but, like, it doesn't... Anyway. Uh, okay. So there's that. And... This! Oh my. Nissin UFO Strong Dashi Yakisoba. It wouldn't be summer... It wouldn't be a summer Mitsuri without delicious yakisoba. The strong dashi sauce is made with a blend of bonito, kelp, and shiitake mushrooms. There's nothing better than stuffing your face with one of Japan's top food stall dishes. Try adding toppings like spring onions, thinly sliced pork, and pickled ginger. Oh no! Oh. Common allergens. Wheat, egg, dairy, shrimp, mackerel, soy, and apple. Apple? Shit. Sorry. Kind of. Huh. I have an apple allergy. I explained that when we got the pie. Um, I can't, I can't eat this. Terribly unfortunate. That's really disappointing. <laughs> and with that, I do believe it's everything from this Tokyo treat. So this was everything in July's Tokyo treat. Incidentally, I, Matsuri just means festival. I'm pretty sure. I don't. I don't think I explained that at any point. I'm sure they explained it in here somewhere. Yes, right here on the first page. Matsuri. Matsuri is the Japanese word for festival. So. So this is everything in summer Matsuri, and I guess all that's left to say is don't forget to subscribe and like this if you like this, comment anything at all you want to say, um, follow me on Instagram though I'm never there, Twitter I'm there too much, and Patreon where everything is listed free so you can just you can just watch my videos and that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye! Are we gonna fight in the comments whether it's Pocky or Pokey? Because I'm just gonna say Pocky. Like, forever.